Welcome to The Good Life, the City of Bryan's monthly reminder of the great things happening in Bryan. In the Bryan Fire Department, ranks are earned, not given. Two longtime Bryan firefighters, Ricky Manti and Landon Bissett, have earned the respect of their peers and attained the rank of Lieutenant. What we're celebrating today is that we have two of our people that promoted up to the Lieutenant level. Here in the Bryan Fire Department, like I said, that's a huge deal to become a company officer, run your own crew and do that. But today was actually a little bit extra special for me personally, and I think for the department and the city as a whole. These last two people that actually had promoted uh, and got the red helmets were uh, Landon Bissett and Ricky Manti. So Landon was our uh, firefighter of the year last year, and Ricky was actually the firefighter of the year uh, the year before that. But even more so, these guys have been instrumental in, in training all of our, our cadets uh, to where they're at, uh, starting new programs. They're everywhere in our department. They're, they're truly leaders. And so with, uh, with Ricky, I know that everything that he went through after the Knights of Columbus, that we lost two of our firefighters, two of our officers actually at the Knights of Columbus uh, in 2013. But Ricky went through a lot, and so did Mitch uh, Moran, uh, with all the surgeries from all the burns that they had. But he exemplifies, I think, what our department is about, which is about serving the citizens, about trying to be there on them on their worst day, you know? And so it, it gives me a lot of honor to to be here and to give those guys the red helmets and know that the future of this department is going to be entrusted to people like them and it makes me feel real good to know that. Like I said, Landon last year was, was our employee of the year or firefighter of the year I should say and every time I look around he's on a different committee. He's out, you know, I go out last night to check out the training, he's out there doing that. If we're at the burn house, he's over there doing that. I come over here to visit station two. He's doing the forcible entry training with the guy, guys over here. So he's all over the place every single, every single minute. Um, truly exemplifies commitment and fortitude when it comes to, to being a firefighter and what this profession is all about. So I'm excited for him to be a company officer and see the things that he's gonna be doing with his crew and training and molding this department in the future. So thank you. Congratulations. So the next guy here, I don't know if anyone has recognized his name. Uh, Ricky Manti, come here, Ricky. So since he's been here um, at the first part, he acted basically as the assistant chief for training, getting the things done that we needed to do, taking to that academy to the next level. Um, but what's most impressive is everything that he's gone through with all of this with all of his surgeries, coming back from everything to where I would think most people would have tapped out with all the injuries and everything that he went through, all the trauma and everything else. But instead, he's chosen to dedicate and double down on his commitment to the Bryan Fire Department and the city of the Bryan and its citizens to make sure they're staying safe by training our, our rookies, by making sure we have the best people come in to get this stuff done but making sure that that round trip ticket happens so that that night never again happens here to the Bryan Fire Department and the city of Bryan and we don't ever have to bury another one of our own or they have to go through something that Ricky did. And he's shown that, he's exemplified that, and he's everything when it comes to a true sense of a leader and he's someone that I definitely look up to. So I'm very proud of you, Ricky. Congratulations. This is what our fire department is about. When I take a look out at all of our firefighters, I take a look at all of you out here, this is what I see. This is what I see. This is who we are. He exemplifies that. And I, I want everyone to know that. And I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of Ricky, but I'm also very, very proud of this department. Everything you guys do every single day, you guys are, are, are getting it done. You're busy and you're doing a great job. So thank you for everything that you guys do. And, uh, get back to work. Have a good day. Get your leather jackets and poodle skirts ready. It's time to boogie woogie like it's the 50s. The Bryan Parks and Recreation Department's Sock Hop Dance is on Friday, March 8th from 7 to 10 p.m. at the Brazos Center for adults 55 and over. Enjoy an evening of fun with a cash bar, heavy hors d'oeuvres, an ice cream bar, and live music by the Texas T-Birds. Tickets are $10 and available at the door or in advance at the Bryan Aquatic Center or Parks and Recreation offices.
The Bryan Animal Center is hosting a free microchip and rabies vaccination event for Bryan residents on Saturday, March 9th from 8 a.m. to noon at Tanglewood Park. Proof of Bryan residency will be required at the event. Up to four pets per household can be serviced and they must be on a leash or in a crate. You're invited to celebrate the grand opening of the sand volleyball courts at our Legends Event Center in Travis Bryan Midtown Park on Saturday, March 9th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. There will be open play on the four sand courts, yard games, food trucks, music, and more. Blue Bunny returns on Saturday, March 23rd from 9 to 11 a.m. at the Bryan Regional Athletic Complex. Free activities include an egg hunt for children, Bryan Police Department vehicle displays, face painting, photos with the Easter Bunny, inflatables, train rides, and the movie Hop will be showing.